So for those of you, Alex is an amazing cook. I can uh, cook, baker, I can attest to this. She has an amazing Instagram where she makes homemade pasta. And she has so greatly offered to teach us how to make pasta. And I know cooking now has become a big deal in my family with the kids and all the stuff. And this is such a fun activity to do with your kids. I'm not going to take any more time. I'm going to get off the mic and I'm going to let Alex take it away. <laughs> Hello. Okay. This is semi awkward. Um, I'm Alex. Hi. I joined. The, sorry. Start again. I am uh, definitely not a professional chef. So uh, take everything we do today with, you know, I would say the grain of salt, but that's a little bit punny. Um, so we're going to make my favorite uh, dough. And I have a. My, the teacher and me puts together this full PowerPoint, which you'll see. I got really excited last night, and I'm like, oh, yeah, put it together. But, um, and we're going to go through it, and then we're all going to, if you look on the middle table, you'll see that there's an egg and some flour. And, um, so each of that's going to be one serving. So we're actually going to learn how to make pasta um, with my favorite dough. So, again, there's lots of different dough recipes. There's lots of different ways to make it. And a lot of you probably have already made pasta or have never made pasta. But most people enjoy eating pasta, right? I mean, it's gone right here into my stomach. Um, this baby definitely has liked pasta. Um, so what I want to do, I don't know how we're the best way to do this, but every, we're going to have everybody get um, a, again, a container with, like, a single serving in there. And then we're going to learn how to make the dough. And then the dough has to sit um, so the gluten can relax for at least 30 minutes. Um, so, and then during that period of time, we're going to do the icebreaker, right? Perfect. And then I already rolled out some dough this morning. Or not rolled out. I already um, made some dough this morning. So I can teach you guys also, if you're interested, how to make um, pasta shapes if you don't have, like, a, a, a pasta roller or a KitchenAid attachment or anything like that. So we have a couple different options I, um, for today. So hopefully it's fun. Uh, but again... I'm not a professional chef, so judgment should be low, um, or just don't judge me in, per like, you know, in front of my face, but that's fine. I'm, I'm good um, with all of that. All right. So do you have, do I, oh, there it is. <laughs> so all of those pasta dough, that, all the pictures are from what I've made, um, except for Tyler Florence. That's creepy. Um, so, and the first picture I didn't make either, but every other picture, I didn't make this, but every other picture is actual pictures of stuff that I've made or, um, have uh, done in the past. So my favorite dough, okay, is Tyler Florence's ravioli dough. I don't particularly love him. I think he's a little interesting, and if you've ever seen his show, um, Food Network Star, uh, not Food Network Star, um, Great Food Chuck Race, he's a little, uh, he pops his collar a lot. Anyways, you'll see. Um, but I love his dough, and I have made this dough here in a very temperate climate, so it's not that difficult, but I've also made it in Hawaii, where it, and I've rolled out fresh dough there where it's, you know, super humid, and then also in the desert where it's super arid and dry. And you just, oh, can you go back? Sorry. Sorry. Um, and so this is the main recipe dough. Um, so we use three cups of flour to one teaspoon of salt to four eggs to two tablespoons of olive oil and water. Each of these is a quarter of that recipe. All right, so this will feed, I usually have this when I, when I just, my husband and I and my daughter, and we usually have extra, and I usually have this recipe, um, but I made it into, I basically quartered it today for everybody. So it's enough for two people, or a side dish, or that idea, but it's, man, it's a manageable amount to just make. Um, and I, this is the specific recipe, the olive oil you'll see on your table, there's water on your table. Really, you can alter this depending on the consistency of the dough, and I'll kind of talk about that as we get going. Um, another thing, anything else about this? Oh, so our ingredients today are, you know, standard egg, standard flour, all of that. I highly suggest if you're making this, and this is like a main dish, to get the best eggs as possible, because the more yolk is the more fat, and it makes the pasta more, even more delicious. But we're going to use Smart and Final Eggs today. They're great. I have rolled it out. It's perfectly fine. I just generally use, um, you know, for the price, if it's not that much money for what you're doing for a dish, right? It's not like you're spending $60 on a steak. You're like, oh, gosh. It's like, it's, it's, if you can, I would highly suggest getting better eggs or go to Jan's farm. She didn't listen. I'm just, I'm just kidding, Jan. Yeah. Um, but anyways, this is the normal dough. And I like it because you can use AP flour 
And you don't have to use like double O flour, or you don't have to use semolina, you can just use AP flour and most everybody has that. So it's a pretty good recipe. Again, love the dough, not the man. But all right, moving on. Um, so some basics. Um, so I generally, we're gonna, we're gonna learn to do the left. So the uh, linguine today, that's my pasta drying rack. I didn't bring it, but because we don't, I don't have enough, so I wanted to make sure that we're all on the same page, but you don't have to dry it like that. Um, on, the, on the right, that's actually, I did that, I rolled it out by hand, that's the one I did in Hawaii, but um, the basics, you know, rolling pin or, uh, or the KitchenAid roller, which we'll kind of see in the next couple of slides of how to do that. All right, next one. I got really had so much fun with this PowerPoint. It's really weird. Okay, tools and <laughs> resources. Um, so we have KitchenAids here. I have the, we have a few KitchenAid attachments, which we'll talk about um, after we actually make the pasta and let it sit and everything. But we're gonna do the um, sheet pasta and then we're gonna have linguine or spaghetti up to your choice of what you wanna make. And then I'm also, when we get to the shapes, I'll show you what I'm gonna make up front too if you guys anybody wants to learn how to make that. Um, it need, takes time, right? Um, it needs flour and then, and your hands, all right? Right, we're gonna roll out with our hands and that's and knead out the pasta. So it definitely takes a lot of manpower. My daughter likes to keep pretending to play or do it, but that's a year and a half ago. She's much bigger now and takes much more of an active role, which isn't necessarily good. Um, and then shapes. Okay, so these are shapes that you can make. We're gonna make, um, if you look at the top right where the bow tie pasta is, you see the corkscrews. We're gonna make those today, and you can make them with a pencil. So we're gonna, I feel like it's easy because not everybody necessarily has a KitchenAid attachment or a pasta roller. So we're gonna actually not only do the linguine, what you guys can take home, right? We're gonna have a whole thing for that. Um, but we're also gonna do the uh, corkscrew pasta. But I make raviolis a lot. Um, I made penne, penne, um, aglionade, and then uh, uh, Tortellini, so, all right, next one. Fun with dough, you can do some fun stuff with it. So like you can put herbs in the dough. Um, you can put, for actual like extra, nur I, I don't know, nourishment or whatever, I put, I, I blended up kale and spinach um, and I put it into the actual dough. So that's where you got the green dough from. And so I do, I'll do a lot of stuff like that. I'll make like, I have made like with uh, purple dough, um, you know, I don't like the color purple, but it's cool looking anyways. Uh, pink dough, and it's kind of fun to, to kind of experiment, but my favorite is putting the actual like parsley into the dough and rolling it out, and then so when you make it, it actually has these pretty pictures on it. All right. And then some dishes we'll talk, talk about later, but this is some stuff I've made um, in the past, so, but yeah. And then lastly, I'm gonna teach you guys a sauce and how to, what to make an easy brown butter sauce that everybody likes. My daughter's obsessed with it. And she's like, no, I want the good cheese on it. I'm like, I'm not using expensive Parmesan, but you're like, sure, whatever. Um, like, what a spoiled child. Um, but we'll talk about this later. So, okay, sound good? All right. So um, let's get a, how do, I don't know, how do you want to do this? Should we just should we grab it or? Oh, yeah, can you, yeah, can if you, yeah, either push your food to the side or clear the area, and then we're going to um, actually get going. And then when you guys have your air cleared, if you want to come up and grab a, um, a, a container of flour, one egg, and then it has salt in it already, and then there's a knife and a fork, if you want to grab that, each of those. That is actually three quarters of a cup of flour to one egg to, I don't know, I just put salt in there. What? Yeah, per per yeah one per person, please, yeah.
Did everybody get one that wants to do it? Great news. I feel right at home. It's like teaching at school. Nobody listens to me ever. It's great news. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I mean, I'm not really kidding. That really happens. Um, so this is what it's going to look like. All right? You're like, great. It looks like a blob. Um, but we can, if you want to come in and after you roll it, if you want to see it, touch it. But basically, you should be able to put your finger in it, and it comes out. So it's like kind of like Play-Doh um, and not sticky. So you, you don't want it to be too sticky. If it's sticky, then you want to add a little bit more flour. But we'll kind of get to that as we get going. All right. Let me put this back. This is, I mean, I rolled out this morning so I can use it to help make shapes later. What's wrong? Oh, no, it's okay. Oh, no, we're going to need, it's going to get messy. It's just, I brought a, I brought a, a, a robe. Yeah, a robe. That'd be so bizarre. I brought an apron. Um, yeah, like, it's, it's one of those. No, no, I'm just kidding. Um, get ready to shower. Okay, so... I think the best way, this is how I like to do it. There's olive oil on your table, all right? Now, I, again, I've never made it on a plastic mat, so, you know, we might have to improvise, but that's lovely. Um, I like to put a little drizzle of olive oil underneath my, uh, dough, my flour. I find it, it easy to scrape, or scrape up. You get the base, so just a little drizzle, like maybe like one spoonful each, just on the base, where you're going to do it. Thank you guys if you brought a, um, a measuring cup. I, I decided just to, we decided just to put them in here, but you can use it anyways. Or you can use the base of this. All right, so spread it out a little bit. It helps so it doesn't stick. Put your um, flour on top of that, and either with your measuring cup or the base of this bowl, make a little well in the middle. Yeah, I already, did. I was, yeah, we just measured it out. It made, made life easier for everybody. Sorry. Oh, I also have really randomly good hearing, not sight. So <laughs> my students talk about a lot of stuff. I'm like, you better be quiet. I can hear you. I know you hate biomechanics, but you have to take it. Um, anyways, so make a little well, and then you're going to crack the egg and you're gonna put it in that well. If you wanna put it in your bowl first so you don't get the shells, probably a good idea too. But you're not using it with one hand, so. All right, I normally, at this point, would um, put salt and a little bit more olive oil. And so, you have olive oil there. Um, you can put a tiny bit more olive oil in your, um, in your egg. Salt is a really, really, really important concept for this. Um, a couple reasons. Uh, I, there's already salt in yours, but you want to make sure you salt your flour. Not only does it taste better, it's more shelf stable, so you can actually dry it. Okay? Now you're going to take your fork. You guys all got a fork, right? All right. So I want you to scramble that egg in the middle and get all that flour, kind of start, and start pushing the flour into it. Great. If it's already like everywhere and you got it in your hands, great news, it's totally fine. Um, you want to scramble it into it and just kind of get that push from the bottom. Now, here's a little tip for if you do it at home. If you have a pastry cutter or something to uh, scoop up, um, uh, veggies, you can use this to help push the, the flour together, but you know, we don't need that today. Um, all right, once you've got a pretty good mix going, then you're going to take and use your hand and move it together, okay? Start developing it into a ball. It's going to get slimy, but you have, we all have kids, so it's not a big deal. If it's on, if you have some like egg on your fork, you can scrape it off. I've never done this with one hand. This is an interesting concept. Okay, so this actually looks like it's coming together pretty well. It's gonna be sticky. Now I'm gonna put my, my uh, mic down, but then you really wanna start getting it, forming it together, and then you're gonna start kneading it once it comes together. And then if it's too sticky, you can add a little more flour, which you have on your table. If it's too but I highly suggest not doing that until you get it together more. 
If it's too dry and it's crumbly, you can add a little bit more olive oil or water, which is on your table, okay? And it will come together. You're not gonna use all the flour. It's gonna get a little bit of, actually it works pretty well in this plastic. Um, you're, gonna, you're not gonna use all the flour, so don't worry about that. When you get your standard ball going, okay, you can kind of even push that other flour to the side. And start really working it with your hand, okay? Using your, uh, the, uh, what's called the, not the, what is this thing called? Thank you. Heel of your, of your hand, really push into it. Get it all together, and you should start feeling it form. Did I go too fast? Am I good? All right. Keep pushing. Not enough to go into labor, but push, I tell myself. Um, push. And then you can start feeling the consistency. Mine is actually a tiny bit sticky. Again, I've never made this as one hand. It's a very interesting concept. All right. So if you feel it, it's going to start coming together like, does it kind of look like this? <laughs> okay, so if it's crumbly, add some water and some or some olive oil. You can do both. Don't, I would do tiny bits at a time because it goes from crumbly to sloppy, sticky in a, in a hot second. I know, I'd be crying about it too. It's, it's a thing. All right. Maybe I'll walk around. Do you guys want to walk around? Okay. Okay, let's see. Here's looking good. Oh, yeah. She's like, yeah, I do this all the time. Yeah, that's great. Once you, it's, it looks pretty good. Um, you can get some, we'll get some, oh, crud. We need some saran wrap. To, looks good. You're getting there. That looks good. Yeah, is it sticky? Okay, yours looks good. Let's see. Oh, yours is perfect. Yours is perfect. Yeah, great news. You get an A. A plus. Yeah. Let's see this one. Oh, yeah, yours is great, too. All right. Yeah, look how pretty this is. It's all nice and smooth. It's okay. It ha I, was, I, I, I was like, can you say it out loud? But then I had, like, the mic. And I was like, Hey, it's good for some reason. <laughs> all right, here's, all right, there's plastic wrap on each side. So once you get it, wrap, you're going to tightly wrap it in plastic wrap. I didn't have this open, but my hands are like, go. Oh, can you open this since you're, yeah. How's it going over here? Yeah, you guys are good. Yeah, see? Yeah, it looks a little crumbly, let's see. Sorry, I didn't mean like that. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, let me have a little water. A tiny, tiny bit. Yeah, I would do a tiny bit. Uh, maybe a little, little less than that, actually. Just a tiny, maybe like half of that. That's good. Yeah, perfect. Try that first and then go from to water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I would add, yes, see how it like how it crumble? I would put a little bit, um, a little, tiny bit of water, maybe? Okay. Yeah. Or if you want a more fat, you can add some olive oil. Either way. Oh. This looks good. I think I looked at yours, right? Yeah, yeah yours yeah. looks good. Oh. Yeah, 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 pro. How's it going over here? Oh, Shannon's an expert, too. I mean, it's my husband. Oh, yeah, yours looks good. Does it move a little? Yeah, it's good. I would add a tiny, tiny bit, a tiny bit of this. Like a teeny, like not even that much. Like, 
Yeah, I mean, you, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> a tiny bit, I would do a little, a little bit of water or a little bit of olive oil. Same, like, same amount as, I'm going to set this up. How's it going over here? Oh, look. Maybe you just a tiny bit more flour. Okay. Yeah, no, don't wait. We can eat it later. Because you're going to roll it up. I would use a little bit more flour. Yeah, because if you fill the dough, how is the weight different? It's just a tiny bit more. Maybe like just a little bit. And then just roll, kind of roll it into it a little bit. Yeah. Otherwise, it looks pretty good. There's no, there's no, <laughs> that looks good. <laughs> no. Do I? Oh. No. Should I pretend that I'm Italian? Okay. So they'd be like, like, it was like, the, who said that? Is she going to be the pasta queen? A pasta water. Yeah, no, I know what I'm talking about. Never mind. It's not going to be funny then. It's really I not just started, funny. okay? I was putting my baby to sleep. It's good. It's gonna be good. Yeah. How are you guys doing? Oh yeah. See, expert. I'm having to work with it a lot. <laughs> yeah. Oh, how's it going? Oh, I'm not gonna touch it with my hand. It's, I mean, actually, this here. You know, maybe I would do more, a little more fat, but yeah, actually, you know, it's coming together. Okay. Oh, hi, the sugar. Boy. Thank you. Yeah. She's three and a half. She's nuts. She's lost her. She's good, though. She's at school here, which is great for everybody. <sighs> yeah, she's very excited. She's, she'll be about almost four, so she's really, really excited. I think, I'm hoping. I think so. I think she'll be a little bit, um, not, jeal not jealous, but, like, want my attention. Not, not, I don't think jealous is the word. Um, what am I talking about? You know, um, just, like, maybe a little sad, you know, a little bit. But she'll be okay. I think she'll be okay. I'll really try to involve her. She's like, she's like, um, he doesn't. No, it's actually really funny. Anybody wants to make any more? We have up here. We have some more. Yeah, we have uh, one, two, four, six, eight. We have nine left if anybody wants to make any more. Yeah. Don't all run up at once, though. <laughs> You guys are all experts. Oh yeah, and then he, Shannon's coming around with plastic wrap and just wanna make sure it's tightly wrapped. Just, yeah, we wanna, so we don't have any, it's not that dry, but we want that gluten to relax. Ladies, if you would like to wash your hands, you can go straight back on the right hand side. Sherry's about to come out. There's a little bathroom. There's a hose in a bucket. No. Uh. <laughs> can I have a piece? Can I have a piece of that real quick? <laughs> can I take that one? Can I take the next oh, one? Oh, sorry. Yeah. So I, mine's been out. No, mine's been out for a while, yeah. so I just want to make sure I get yeah. it in there. Yeah. Do it. Four more. Who wants to make more? I'm going to take it you're ignoring me because you don't want to. I'll make more. I don't want it to go to waste. 
Would anybody like more pasta dough if I actually make it? You want to make another one? Yeah. Do, oh, just throw it away. So if you have extra, don't try to reuse the dough that you have extra of it. It's just going to make your pasta crumbly. So put that into your, maybe into your bowl and throw it away. All right, if nobody else wants to make any more, I'm just gonna make it so we have it. Okay, cool, I'm gonna give it, Shannon? Okay, perfect. All right, I'm gonna give you this. Okay, and I'm gonna make it real quick so I can. Okay. Okay. I have very low expectations for my dough, because I have I know. Let me just wipe, okay. Oh my gosh. Oh, no, you, you guys, you use as much as you can. I'm the weird mom that I just always bring diaper wipes or like wet wipes because you never know. I'm like, my kids are gonna be 20 and I'm still going to, yes, it's so handy. It's unbelievable. I feel like, what was I doing before that I didn't know? Yeah, I do too. I want in every, like, my purse, every yeah. car. Yeah. Okay, ladies, as our dough is resting and getting prepped for its big adventure in the KitchenAid, um, we're going to just do um, a simple icebreaker at your tables. Everyone's getting to know each other. Has anybody played the game Two Truths and a Lie? Okay. So if your table wants to play, you just simply go around and you tell each other, you say, Two true, or what, yeah, what is it? Two truths and a, or is it two? Two truths, two truths that's what I thought, okay. Um, two truths and a lie. So two truths about yourself and one lie, and then everybody can go around and guess what they think the lie is. So the most, you can be as basic as you want or as most outrageous as you want. So, and then after, if you feel comfortable, we'll have some open time that you can share some of the stuff in the sanctuary. So enjoy, and we'll be getting ready to, Start making our linguine soon. I think, okay, it's on. Hi, ladies. Um, Alex is going to come back up in a minute and talk about how to cook the pasta. But I just wanted to give everybody, um, the, you can stay in here as long as you want. There's no, I mean, I know at 11 o'clock we have to get our kids. But if you want to use the pasta maker, you're welcome to grab your kids and come back in here and have the kids in here and make the pasta. That's completely fine. So um, I just wanted to put that out there so we don't panic, um, and you can still have your pasta. So I'm going to bring Alex up really quick to talk about it. Oh, here she is. Okay. Matt, could you put it to recipes real quick? Actually, the very last slide, then we'll go back to recipes. Okay, so this is to how to cook it. Um, when you're doing linguine, which is most of you guys are going to be doing, or basically anything but like capellini or the, this spaghetti attachment, you're going to cook it at three minutes. Okay. Um, I prefer, I was like, I was telling the group over there, I prefer to do linguine versus a really thin noodle because it's more forgiving for cooking because this cooks really, really fast. All right. Uh, so three minutes boiling water, salt your water like you're in the ocean. And don't overwater your water. <laughs> that sounds, it's like light salt yesterday. I'm like, what are you talking about? Like half the amount of salt? Um, you want it to be just maybe covering your pasta because you want that starchy water in order to make the dish. Okay? So 
Anyways, three minutes, pull it out. A lot of the time what I'll do is I will just use one of like I call like one of my colanders, pull it, put it in there, strain it out, and just throw it directly into the pasta into to the sauce. Just so you have some of that extra water, and then you can keep it, um, or you can just drain it, but never wash it. Never rinse it, ever rinse it, don't rinse it. Did I say that? Okay, great, great news. Um <laughs> it might stop cooking, but it gets gummy. And it sticks, and then you're going to be losing. Uh, basically, you're lo it, it, works, it doesn't work with the texture. It's you're not. Gonna, it's not as good. So, uh, don't wash it, and but save some pasta water. That stuff is gold. Um, it really is. So, all right. So after you do this, so again, three minutes. Most everything. If you're making like raviolis, or you're making like the bow tie pasta that I showed you guys, or the corkscrew. Corkscrew is maybe a little different. Maybe like a little bit longer, but three minutes is pretty much the, the go-to. Okay, so what I, everybody likes brown but everybody likes butter mostly, right? So the easiest sauce that I know how to make or is a brown butter sauce. This is actually New York Times cooking, which by the way, I highly recommend for any recipes. They're amazing. Um, New York Times cooking recipe for brown butter. Um, basically, you want to get the butter brown but not burnt. So like medium heat, get, it's going to be really frothy. It's going to smart, start smelling nutty. It's just delicious. And then you, so you mix that up. Once it gets to that consistency, you can add the pasta and a little bit of pasta water. So it come, and, a, and then a lot of Parmesan cheese. So it all comes together. That pasta water, that starch, gets everything to come together into a nice, beautiful sauce. I love to put a little bit of black pepper in it, um, kind of like a cacio de pepe vibe. Um, if, you, if your kids are eating this, maybe don't do it as much. But um, my daughter started trying to pick out the black pepper in it. It's like, okay, that's a waste of pasta. Um, so, but this is a really great, easy dish that is everybody really, really loves. So, and, but again, three minutes for the cooking. If you want to, can you go back one slide? You can also get real cray. And um, so like the top, the top right, the corkscrew, when I just made it, it's ama, ama Triciana. It's basically just pork jowl or guanacelli or pancetta cooked down with butter and onion and you make and I made a homemade tomato roasted tomato sauce add together um you can do like and the middle one was I made a crab pasta like the crustacean garlic noodles so you can do like an Asian twist on it um the one on the bottom right is actually a deconstructed chipino so I made the chipino broth and I froze the chipino broth um and I put it inside the ravioli so when you cut open to it it like oozed out it sort of oozed out I, I was hoping it was more of a presentation but it worked um, the one on the left, on the bottom, is a mushroom carbonara. So basically, we just like pork fat, apparently, in our family. Um, a lot of pork fat and mushrooms cooked down. And then uh, the top left is a ravioli. What did I do now? I think it's just a ricotta ravioli. Just egg, ricotta, nutmeg, Parmesan cheese, some parsley. And then the bottom middle one is, um, I did a take on a Russian, uh, a Reuben. And so it's, it's uh, pastrami with an actually egg yolk, an egg yolk in it. So when you cut into it, the egg yolk comes out. And I did a brown butter mustard sauce. And the one on the left, um, it's a lobster ravioli with a lobster stock pasta stuff I made. So you can make, do have some fun stuff. I spend a lot of time in the kitchen, apparently. Um, it's like the time that people leave me alone most of the time, which is probably why I get in there. Um, anyways, there's lots of cool stuff you can do. But if you have, start with this pasta, I highly recommend the brown butter sauce. It's Super yummy. So, thanks, guys. Um, oh, and then, like she said, you can stay and keep, please keep going. If you guys need help with it or anything, let me know. Um, but we'll be here and keep rolling your pasta out. So, thanks, guys. Okay. Oh, sorry, one more. Oh, okay. Ladies, um, this is posted on Canyon Hills Instagram. So, all the recipes and everything, I will also email, it, email Alex's presentation out. And um, I hope everyone had fun. I hope this inspires you to get in the kitchen with your kids. My husband's half Italian, so I don't touch the pasta. And we have been trying to perfect pasta for years. So it's so much fun. It's a lot of love. And I don't know, it was fun making this. So if you have kids, um, please go first to make your pasta. Or go grab them if you want to make it and come back. They can sit and watch. And it's totally fun. Our, my son loves watching the pasta. Um, I'm going to close this in prayer. But I also wanted to remind everyone, our next Mops is March 11th. We're going to have Amanda Anderson back by popular demand. And she's going to be talking about anxiety and depression. So it'll be a great topic. And do not forget, if you want your pictures taken, 
um, please bring your kids back and to that little cute little area. I'm going to close this in prayer and please grab your kiddos and come back and make the pasta. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, what a treat today just to come together and, and just have fellowship and just learn how to make pasta. And, and hopefully this is something we can go back with our families and create these amazing memories and just have some fun. Um, we thank you for this day. We ask a just that you bless these ladies with the extra hand of protection over them and their beautiful families as they go out for the rest of the weekend. In your name we pray. Amen.